Yo, what up is Don? Sammy Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. How you guys doing? We're gonna break down the best basketball cushions for you right now. And kind of what model you might want to get depending on what cushion. Because it, the cushion also can depend on the model. Yeah. You know, but anyways, let's get it started right off with a very, very, um, it's not a small company. I, yeah, it's not a huge company, but it's not a small company. It's a big company in China. Um, mm -hmm. You guys probably uh, have not worn it if you're from the US. It's, yeah. uh, it's from Anta. Of course, Clay Thompson is signed with Anta. And uh, we just tried his uh, KT2 Low Outdoor. Yes, that shoe. And it uh, featured the A Shock. And it feels very nice. It's, uh, it feels like either a Micro G, like kind of like in the Clutch Fit Drive One, mm -hmm. or um, feels super. It feels like a bouncier bounce cushion. Yes, from Adidas. Yeah, or yeah, the bounce cushion. Yeah, yes, it's yeah. very similar to bounce, but even maybe a little softer and Soft. bouncier. Yeah, yeah. So definitely. it's a really nice cushion, especially for outdoor use. A lot of impact protection. Um, in, in the KT2 Low Outdoor, they thin it out in the forefoot, so you still have response. But um, just like a real lively feeling cushion, nothing too mushy, you know what I mean? And, and definitely nothing too firm. Yes. And uh, Bounce Cushion is not on this list right now because Adidas just hasn't been using Bounce Cushion correctly or like the way I want it to. Like they use it in the Wonder 2s. Like in the Dame 3s, I didn't really like it that much. Yeah. Because um, it was just like so bulky. Uh, but the feeling was good, but then it was just like way too bulky for me. So it's yep. not on this list. It's a good cushion, but they're just they haven't been using it right. Yes, pretty much, you know. So, all right, next is Jetlon Plus from Brand Black, mm. and you guys have to try it from um, what's it called? The Future Legend. Yes, that shoe, and they're releasing a full knit upper. Uh, I don't know what their knit technology is called, but it's just knit. Yeah. And um, yeah, go ahead and try it. The cushion is really soft. And there is a very, very good bounce to it. Um, and it just feels super nice. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, yeah, so those two cushions are very good cushions for when you want to feel bouncy yeah. and have a lot of impact protection. Yeah, if you want to like yeah. feel some cushion, you know? Yes. Um, the next one for me is React because mm -hmm. I don't like to feel bouncy all the time. I like to have a lot of responsiveness sometimes. And um, I just want to feel quick on my feet just like in Kyrie 3s. But the Kyrie 3s have shit impact protection, so if I play oh. in them every day, my feet hurt. Yeah. But the Hyperdunk 2017 low or whatever whatever it is you want, fly knit, high, low. Um, the React cushioning, uh, I can play in it all day and my feet don't hurt, mm -hmm. you know. So, but I also feel really, really responsive, which I enjoy very much. Uh, I think it's a very, very good blend of responsiveness and impact protection. If that's what you're looking for, um, it's definitely something that I do enjoy and I would prefer over a super duper bouncy cushion. Yeah. Um, what do you like better though? Uh, as far as what? Like super duper bouncy? Like it's the, it's the same what? level of yeah. impact protection but would you prefer a, like not super bouncy but like slightly bouncy or like pretty bouncy or like responsiveness? Uh, probably just response. Yeah. You know, I mean, I like I like a little bit of bounce every now and then. But uh, I definitely do like impact protection for yes, sure. Yes. And you know, React does do good impact protection for how much response you get, which is a lot of response and you yeah. feel low and quick, but um, yeah, it's not definitely not the most impact exactly. protection, you know? Yeah, exactly. So don't don't get it twisted yeah. that uh, React has more impact protection than like Jalan or whatever, mm -hmm. but it still, it still has good impact It's the best protection. of both worlds, Yes. kind of, you know? Yes. And of course, uh, moving to the next cushion is Boost, boost, boosty boost, and now, boost is a very, very interesting cushion. I mean, it, yes. they originally implemented it in running. Yes. Okay, and the whole vibe of boost obviously is energy return. Hence, you would think it's like super bouncy or super responsive, but boost is not inherently responsive, nor is it like even crazy bouncy. It's it's more so soft and mushy. You do get a little bit of bounce, but it's definitely not a responsive cushion. Yes. This is why they usually thin it out a lot in the forefoot. Yes, and put like a fucking strobo board, yeah. and then the uh, stable frame, and, and then, then cage it. And then cage it on the <laughs> side so it can't expand as much. Exactly. But it, it, they're able to mix it up very nicely, like uh, in the James Harden Volume 1. It's very responsive, but you still get some impact protection in the heel. Um, a nice little soft 
ride and, and, and you know heel to toe transition lifestyle is better though mm. if you're looking for a good cushion yeah it's a little less caged yes and the crazy explosive of course is a very good option also that's top notch boost setup yes. right there all right and of course uh, moving on to the next cushion from nike is the zoom a zoom unit the zoom unit so uh they made they made a very good setup in the jordan 31 which was an amazing Incredible. setup it was super thin, you felt very low to the ground, but impact protection was really good and response, and you still got a little bit of bounce. Yeah. Uh, too bad the traction suck falls. But, yeah, um, it's horrible. The whole shoe was amazing, but that uh, cushion setup, we very much hope they carry on over to the 32. Yes. That would be great. Um, it was just a real nice setup between, you know, really the best of not just both, of like all the worlds, of like you get some impact protection, a little bit of bounce, ton of response it's still light you still feel low to the ground good heel to toe transition just a nice ride you know and that's so uh yeah all right and also yeah another one is the kd you know yeah the kd is a good setup it's a little too bouncy for me and i don't feel super low to the ground but uh some people do enjoy that setup so yeah i like it and it's definitely like more of like a rehab shoe or a day that i'm feel like i'm not gonna go super hard you do lose some response with yes. having that much action in the zoom. So, but you know, it's not insane, but it, it it's kind of almost like placebo psychological, like you don't feel super light on your feet, Yeah. you know, so. But anyways, that's it. That's the best cushioned uh, shoes for basketball. If you're looking for a shoe that doesn't make your feet hurt and your knees hurt and your teeth hurt and your brain hurt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I don't know how someone would play in Kyrie's every single day. That's just not I good see for some you. people playing in Kyrie's every day, like every day. outdoors. But like they're like they're like little kids though. Yeah, you know, they're like a little younger and they yeah. don't. Um, They'll learn. Yeah, they will. But anyways, that's it. Hope we helped you guys out, and we'll see you guys next one. Later. Peace.